What's going on everybody? It's Richard Coburg here, the Blue Collar Nerd. So you've probably seen it by now, Service Titan has produced this contactless technician video uh, for all of us to use. And just in case you haven't seen it yet, here's a clip. Your certified contactless technician always wears gloves, shoe covers, and masks if they're available and recommend it when entering your home. They also sanitize their trucks, tools, and iPads before every call. So Service Titan users are free to use this video for their own purposes, uh, social media marketing, any other kind of digital marketing, or the dispatch text. The purpose of the video is just to give your clients some comfort, some assurance that you are doing everything in your power to make this experience as contactless as possible. You're doing everything you can to keep both your client and your technician safe. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking through exactly how to make use of this thing. So step one, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is watch the video yourself. I'll put a link in the description below to the video, but you've gotta watch it yourself and then once you've absorbed it, you have to train on it. Because this video is pointing out very specific protocols that you're going to be following. And so what you definitely don't wanna do is just put it in your dispatch text without telling any of your technicians and then they don't follow the protocol. So then your client watches this nice video and it says that your technician's going to offer a thumbs up instead of a handshake. And then your technician shows up at the front door and they're like, well, hey there, hey there, I'm Frank. Hey, hey there, hey there, shake it. That would, uh, that would not look great. So if you're gonna be utilizing this video, make sure that you take all that information and put it out there so that your technicians know what they're supposed to be doing. Now, once we've done that, I would recommend downloading the video. Now, you don't have to download the video if you don't want to. You could just put that full URL in your dispatch text and call it a day. But that URL is a little bit long, and I would personally recommend downloading this video and then re-uploading it to your company's YouTube channel so it's a little bit more personal. So the way you do that is you go onto the video, again, link in the description below, and then you click on this little icon right here. And that will give you the option to download. Now, since we've got it downloaded, we do have some options to tweak it a little bit if we want to. Now, I can make a separate video tutorial on this part if you guys are interested, but now that we have the video downloaded, we could put our logo on it, put our logo in front of it. Maybe if there's one particular part of the video that we actually don't plan on doing, we could cut that part out. But once we've got our video ready to go, our next step is to upload it to our company's YouTube channel. If your company doesn't have a YouTube channel right now, that's not really a problem. They're pretty quick and easy to make. Once you've uploaded it there, you can give it your own title as well as your own description. And if you really want to get crazy, you could even give it a specific thumbnail that's created just for your company. But that part's totally optional. You certainly don't have to do that. Now, once you've got it fully uploaded, you'll get this link to it. It's a pretty short link. It should be a u2.be link. If you accidentally close the screen out, don't worry. You can get to it again by hitting the share button underneath the video itself. Now, the reason I recommend doing it this way is for a few reasons. You get a shorter link, so you're not cluttering up your dispatch text too much. It's a YouTube link, so it's right recognizable, people know YouTube and they feel comfortable clicking on that. And since it's on your company's YouTube channel, it feels more personal, it feels more tied to your specific brand. And you're able to give it whatever title you want, whatever description you want. So it just gives you a little bit more control and a little bit more customizability to your brand. So once we've got that link, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna come back over to Service Titan and we're gonna go into our settings. From there, we're gonna go under the communication section and find customer notifications. From there, we're gonna click on dispatch notification. Now that's where I'm putting it for my example, but you could also put it on the booking confirmation or you could put it on the booking confirmation and the dispatch notification. It's up to you. Go crazy. So once we're here, we're going to hit customize and then we can type in our own introduction. I'm just going to type in uh, check out our contactless appointment process and then colon and paste in that link. Boom, now I gotta make sure I hit save up at the top and I am good to go. Every time a technician dispatches now, it's going to be sending out that link. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Like I said, if you guys are interested in learning how to put your logo on this video and maybe even doing some light editing to take some stuff out, just let me know down in the description below and I will make that happen for you. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done that already. Remember, if you subscribe to Blue Collar Nerd, you've got a new channel you gotta subscribe to now. You gotta subscribe to Service Titan too. And hit like if you found this content valuable. Appreciate it. Peace.